In this video, I'm going to show you careful step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the charging port on the Samsung S21 Ultra. I have already preheated this device up to 85 degrees C on the hot plate. You can use a heat gun or hairdryer to achieve the same effect, but you just want to soften the adhesive on these edges here. I'm going to use a suction cup, a bit of isopropyl alcohol and a guitar pick to open this one up, starting off with the suction cup on the bottom of the device. And I'm sort of just prying it upwards, add a couple of drops of alcohol under there. But this is actually softened up really nicely after 10 minutes on the heat mat. And it's going to open up real easy, this one. So I'm just opening it up just like that. And this is open. Let's get it over to the workbench where we'll change out the charging port. So the next stage is to isolate power from the phone. So we're going to remove, I think, four or five screws that hold down the metal shield only on the top half of the motherboard. So remove those screws, then detach the wireless charging coil and this other, I think, NFC antenna uh, connector just here. Lift up that metal shield and use your plastic sputter again to isolate the battery. Moving down to the bottom, there's four more screws holding down this loudspeaker and plastic shield. Remove those four screws. Use the tweezers if they stay behind. There's always a prime point on these um, Samsung shields. So lift up there and remove that. That one sprung out of there. Then we can remove the two crosshead screws holding down the subboard. Sorry, make that three screws, I missed that one. Then disconnect this antenna cable and sub to main flex cable. With those disconnected, we just need to remove the SIM tray from the bottom. Don't forget that. Pop that out and get it out of the way. And that means that we can get the tweezers under this backside, lift it out, and that's removed now. Dispose of that using your local recycling guidelines. So the part that we're using is a brand new genuine Samsung service pack part. It came in a little baggie, which is a bit suspicious, but the source that I got it from is a very, very trusted source. You have to be careful when you're getting um, what a lot of people call genuine Samsung parts because some of them just aren't what they're advertised as. Whereas if you buy from a company what says these are all genuine, 100%, then there's no question about it. Anyway, moving on. Simple case of reassembling in reverse order, starting off with the charge port, reconnect them two connectors. I'll put the SIM tray back at this point because I always, always, always forget it. And then there was the three screws that held that in place. Now we can recover that subboard with the loudspeaker and plastic cover and secure that down with the four screws that we removed all the way back when we were taking this apart. With those re-secured, we'll move back up to the top where we can reconnect the battery now. Reinstall this metal shield. Make sure that you put the flex cables in place first. And then re-secure the five screws that held down that little shield there. Don't forget, if you like repair content just like this, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And if you're having a go at the repair yourself, let me know how you go on. And if there was any snags that you come across, I'm always happy to help people and point them in the right direction. To reseal the back cover, I'm going to use one of these genuine Samsung seals. It's the best way to do it and it works the best, but I just need to spend sort of five minutes cleaning it up. So I'll just pause the recording here whilst I clean up all the adhesive off the back edge because it's not very exciting to watch. One last side note, you can reuse the adhesive seals on these, but sometimes it's, it's just not worth it. And to do a proper job, we, we include one of the seals in the price, so you're better off doing it properly if you can. So with the old seal removed and the new one applied to our back cover, we're just going to lay it on top of it, push down on the edges, make sure that it's nice and tight. You can leave it on the heat mat and, uh, and just sort of activate the adhesive for a little bit. But for the sake of the video, I'm not going to show you a phone sat on the heat map for 10 minutes because it just doesn't make exciting content. But what we will do is plug it in so that I can show you that it's now charging. There we go. We've got the Samsung, sorry, the charging symbol. Um, in a minute, it's going to tell us it's on 0%, I think. Oh, it's on 53, but it's charging. Life 
is good again. That just about completes this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.